Here I will be particularly talking about some points which are related to access of the adult's record. For therapy to be optimally effective, a person must be able to discover their thoughts, feelings, experiences and behaviors without fear of judgment. This is very much pertinent. If you have continuously in your mind the lag behind fear that whatever you are going to share in terms of your thoughts, your feelings, your aspirations to the psychotherapist may be going to leak some time, it's not going to help either the patient or the therapist. They must also be confident that their therapist will not share this information with the third parties. The very reason of having the psychotherapeutic sessions ki hum wo baat, wo particular fears, wo particular problems us therapist ke saath share kar sakein jo kisi bhi aur individuals ke saath nahi share kiya ja sakte because of being judged by them, because of being stigmatized by them or for any other reason. The ability to be vulnerable in therapy can support a strong therapeutic alliance and can help a person recover more quickly. Jitna zada rapport chi establish hogi, jitni zada trust binding hogi, utni zada patient jo hai wo fully apna self jo hai wo reveal kar sakega aur uske problem areas identify hongi, un par core working hogi aur utni jaldi wo behitar ilaj ki taraf jane ki wajah se ek fully functioning human being ban sakega. Now, access to records sued by the family members of an adult should generally be denied unless some special reason justifies considering the request. It can not happen that any individual has come to his family members and says that we need to get this XYZ individual records that he has shared with his problems so far. Whether they are his parents, his friends, his very dear near ones. But a therapist is not legally and ethically allowed to share the confidential record with any of the family member for any of the reason. Special reasons might include the impotent danger test or the legally adjected incapacity of the client. So, as I mentioned earlier, ke until and unless koi legal binding na ho, until and unless yaha par koi threat to self, threat to others or threat to community na ho, aise records ki access dusre logon ko nahi di ja sakti. Now, giving you an example in a scenario, a patient lived with cancer for many years and during that period, she occasionally consulted a therapist and she has been talking about her fears, her concerns, about anxieties related to illness and things like that. During, because you know that cancer is a long process in which, you know, the patients generally seek treatment for a long period of time. During a surgical procedure, to some complications, the patients alive on a life support equipment. Now here comes a scenario that condition jo hai wo bahut deteriorate ho gayi aur usko ventilator par ya life support machine ke upar dalna pada. Now the patient is unconscious. She is unable to say anything about herself. Or now the situation is in stuck ki wo life support kitne arse tak rakhi jaye aur uske ventilator ko kab off kiya jaye. Although with a little chance of recovery. Because in every case, we can say that there are many chances that someone will recover. But in such deadly diseases where the situation medically is not supportive, members of our family plan to seek court authorization to discontinue mechanical life support equipment. You know that the ventilator life support is off, it's not an easy thing. The whole family should be consented and even at times you have to take legal authorization from the court that you are going to switch off the mechanical life support of any individual. Because at that time, they can't do their own life in their own life, being an unconscious person. They wanted to access the record or conversation of a patient with the therapist that might provide some guidance to them and the court about their wishes. In this scenario, the therapist has past past communications and has self-reveal herself about her, you know, wish to live, about her ways to end the life, ki kis ki situation mein she would prefer to uh, be die in case of uski condition kitni deteriorate ho jaye, wo mazeed jeena chahegi, nahi jeena chahegi, uski kya aspirations hain, ya wo illness ki taraf kya point of view hold karti hai, ki itni buri zindagi se maut achhi hai, ya usne aise koi verbatims jo apni ther therapy ke darmiyan diya ho, wo verbatims court ko support karenge ye decision lene ke liye, so either that life should be continued or not. So you know the confidentiality matter is there. But here comes a case 
in which you have to see that those verbatims of the patient is going to help her in another way. So, वहाँ पर हमें उनको access करना और therapist से उसकी information लेना जरूरी हो सकता है. In such a case, when the client cannot speak for herself, the situations become difficult for the therapist to decide. Now, coming towards the scenario of a therapist. When आपके पास एक ऐसी situation आई as a therapist के वहाँ पर क्लाइंट का रिकॉर्ड एक्सेस हो रहा है और आप वहां पर अपनी जजमेंट जो है वो अपनी रिकॉर्ड्स को देख के बताएंगे कि उसका लाइफ के बारे में पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्या था तो एट टाइम्स इट बिकम्स वेरी क्रिटिकल फॉर द थेरेपिस्ट एज वेल अकॉर्डिंग टू रूल्स इट प्रोबेबली वुड नॉट बी अन एथिकल फॉर द थेरेपिस्ट टू रिस्पॉन्ड ओपनली टू अ ड्यूली ऑथराइज रिक्वेस्ट और इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट ऑफ किन इन दो सनैरियोज पर्टिकुलरली वेयर द सिचुएशन इज इन इन द गिवन सनैरियो वहां पर एथिकली क्लाइंट को और उसके फैमिली मेंबर्स को ऐसे रिकॉर्ड की एक्सेस देना थेरेपिस्ट के लिए एथिकल भी है और लीगल भी है बट इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन केस टू केस दैट इज व्हाई आई एम मेंशनिंग दैट इन डिफरेंट पर्टिकुलर सिनेरियोस बिकॉज वी हैव बाय नाउ रीच टू एन एक्सटेंड वेर इट्स वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू डिस्कस द केसेज एंड टू गिव इंफॉर्मेशन इन लाइट ऑफ द गिवन सनारियोज तो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सच केसेज टाइम टू टाइम so in such situations we have to see that the permission may be granted and it would be considered as an ethical permission